it feels like the wheels are finally starting to come off. Before I get started, I'd like to kindly ask that you hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Do or do not. There is no try. So this is a follow-up to my video from last week where I talked about how certain people were upset that Black Widow was released both on streaming services and in theaters at the same time. The basic reason behind this was that theaters felt like if you release it on Disney+, Plus, it hurts the box office numbers, which makes sense. Well, the news today confirms that at least one more person was upset about this. And that person is the star of Black Widow, and I'm talking about Scarlett Johansson. He didn't see that coming. In a lawsuit filed Thursday in Los Angeles Superior Court, attorneys for Johansson alleged that the star's contract was breached when the studio opted not to debut the film exclusively in theaters. A move they claimed depressed ticket sales for the Avengers spinoff. Much of Johansson's compensation was tied to the box office performance of Black Widow, and if it hit certain benchmarks, bonuses for her would kick in. The suit reads that Disney intentionally induced Marvel's breach of agreement without justification in order to prevent Mrs. Johansson from realizing the full benefit of her bargain with Marvel. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! So based on that quote alone, it feels like people inside of this situation are starting to call Disney out for being the greedy fucks that they are as well. Now don't get me wrong, I'm sure Scarlett Johansson is not hurting for money. So I don't necessarily have a lot of sympathy for anyone involved, but a contract is a contract and this is in line with the shady practices that we've become accustomed to from the House of Mouse. It's bad enough that they manipulated the Marvel fan base to pay an additional $30 for a movie that they should have gotten for free, but this move also costs theaters money that they desperately need right now. And apparently it cost Scarlett Johansson around $50 million in bonuses that she would have got if Black Widow's box office was much higher. And based off the quote I just read, Scarlett's people believe it was intentional, and so do I. Why? Listen, there was no way for any of us to predict what was going to happen last year. But I strongly believe that Disney saw it as an opportunity to squeeze more money out of people. They took advantage of an unfortunate situation, and they profited from it. When I say that this company is evil, I truly mean it. They could give two shits about preserving art, or even creating it for that matter. Their philosophy is, what can we put out that'll make a quick buck that we don't have to put a lot of effort into? Shooting a movie that was based on a script that was written in 11 days shows you exactly what they thought about this movie. I I believe they never wanted to make a Black Widow movie because if they did, they would have done it eight years ago. That makes sense. I believe they did it for a couple reasons. One was maybe just to throw Scarlet a bone because she had been around so long. They probably also saw it as a perfect opportunity and character to push some women's empowerment bullshit. It's time for Anakin! And now taking it a step further, they knew this money wasn't going to make your typical Marvel bank. So they cut corners and they manipulated fans as well as the stars of the movie just to make sure that they still came out on top in the end. I'm sorry, but how can anyone continue to support this company? Don't you see what they're doing to the fans, to the stars, to the industry? This company is selfish. This company is evil. This company is creatively bankrupt. They happily employ people who treat fans like shit. What exactly is the benefit of supporting them? So you can watch mediocre or movies every couple of months, someone needs to take a stand. And I'm not talking about a half-ass hate click campaign. I'm talking about intelligent and persuasive people starting to speak up and waking people up. We need to start forcing these they live sunglasses on people. You, you're okay. This one, real fucking ugly. Disney is garbage is not just a hashtag for me, it's a battle cry. People need to be woken up because the very fate of the entertainment industry depends on it. And maybe it starts with a former employee like Scarlett Johansson calling them out on their BS. Everyone wants to complain, but no one is really offering a solution. It's very simple. Speak with your wallets and don't support this garbage company. We all deserve better, and the only way we're gonna get better is if we demand better. You son of a bitch. So let me know what you thought about all this in the comments down below. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time right here on Real Shift. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Y'all be cool. Ta-da.